Hi, this is Chris from BE Power Equipment, and welcome to our Tech Talk series. This episode will discuss the two unloader types that are found in pressure washer pumps, which are the built-in and external versions. Before we go into those details, I'll give a brief overview of what loaders do. They are often mistakenly thought of as a pressure regulator, which is only partially true because it also controls the amount of water or gallons per minute going through it. As you adjust pressure up, you lower the gallons per minute, which can negatively affect the performance of the machine because you want both PSI and GPM to be good. All of our loaders are adjusted at the factory to achieve the best possible performance as recommended that the user does not change the setting. A critical function of the loader is to switch the pump to bypass mode. What this means is that when you're spraying and let go of the trigger, the wire no longer goes through the gun. The loader redirects it to go through the pressure head of the pump where it starts to lapse. This will start building heat because the wire is under a lot of force. So it's recommended to squeeze the trigger every 30 seconds or so just to keep it running cool. Now, let's take a look at the two different types of unloaders. The first is a built-in unloader, where you can see is a part of the forged pressure head. This gets the job done in a compact and affordable setup. External unloaders, on the other hand, are an added piece to the pressure head. You see here it's connected, and this is how it looks before it gets attached. External unloaders are a commercial grade feature because they have a much better heat management and are much easier to maintain or replace. You'll notice that on most external loaders, you'll have these black hose. What this does is when it's in bypass mode, the water will go through the hose before going back into the pump. This has two significant benefits. The first is that since the water travels through the three foot hose, it dissipates heat much better so that the pump can stay in bypass much longer without suffering heat damage. The second is that the user can disconnect the hose so it hang loose and then plug the hole in the inlet. Now, when it goes into bypass mode because the hose is loose, the water will dump to the ground. This will prevent any heat buildup in the pump. It will waste a lot of water if you leave like that, so use it sparingly. For mobile pressure washer setups, this hose can be connected to a spare water tank, which is the best of both worlds because the pump won't overheat and the water can be reclaimed. In conclusion, built-in unloaders are more compact and low cost, and external unloaders are more versatility and are better for heavy duty applications. This has been BE Tech Talks. Keep your eye out for more episodes with other useful tips and insights. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to get alerted when more videos become available.